The following row info minute will discuss CBCT based surgical guides without the use of a scan appliance. In the classic technique to create a surgical guide based on cone beam data, it is necessary to do a scan appliance. This process is time consuming and requires extra expense. In many instances this can be avoided and can make this process run smoother, be less expensive, and be more convenient for the patient and the dental practice. The process is easy and involves three simple steps. The first step is to capture the CT data as you typically would. If you have questions regarding the specific protocols for capturing the CT data, they can be found on our website, dentalimplantplanning.com. The second step is to send row the data with accurate models or impressions. The data can be sent in a CD or can be uploaded to dentalimplantplanning.com. The third step is done by row. We take that, the data and the model and digitally wax and scan the model and combine the two data sets so that they're both visible in the virtual planning software. This process can be performed using two of the most popular virtual planning softwares. Simplant, otherwise known as Facilitate, and also Blue Sky Plan, which is free implant planning software. The first step is easy. If you have a cone beam equipment in your office, you already know how to do this. Take a CT scan, save the patient data in a single folder, and upload the folder to dentalimplantplanning.com. Then, take or have your restorative doctor send impressions or accurate models. It's critical that the models or impressions be very accurate because the quality and accuracy of the surgical guide and ultimately the placement of the implant depends upon this accuracy. Once we receive the models, Roe will digitally wax up the teeth to be restored on a semi-adjustable articulator going through all excursive movements and functions. Send or show a video of this wax up to the restorative doctor and specialist if desired and then digitally scan this data. Once that's scanned, we're able to superimpose the model, as you can see in white here, over top of the DICOM data. As you can see in this area, it's critical that the patient have limited restorative work that involves metal because scatter can prevent the, our ability to correlate these two data sets. From there, in all views in the planning software, regardless of Simplant or Blue Sky Plan, both in the panoramic, the sagittal, the axial, and the 3D, the virtual model can be seen superimposed over top of the DICOM data. As you can see here in this cross-sectional view, the model is visible by this faint line here, and it helps for the placement and planning of the case. In the 3D view, you can view the patient with the implant position established, and you can view that same visualization with the model scan, as visible here in gray, superimposed over top of it. You can also choose to remove the patient's anatomy and just look at the implant plan within the virtual model. The combination of patient and model scans can provide very useful diagnostic information for implant planning and can be very helpful in getting an excellent surgical result, yet simplifying the process. Another benefit of this process is extremely accurately fitting surgical guides. Because the fit of the surgical guide is dependent upon the extremely accurate laser scan of the model, we are finding that surgical guides are fitting better than ever. The no scan appliance technique is the fastest and easiest way to go from a CT scan to a surgical guide. It works with both Simplant and Blue Sky Plan. The technique is limited to cases involving less than five implants. It will not work with patients that have significant restorative work with metal-based restorations, 
and should not be used on mostly edentulous patients. If you have questions about this technique, please contact us at 800-228-6663. Myself, BJ Kowalski, Joe Ambrose, or Alan Banks would be happy to assist you. You can also email questions to bj at rowdentallaboratory.com. Thank you for listening to this Row Info Minute.